Dallas Stars pick up a huge 3-2 victory in Game 4 in Minnesota to tie the series up 2-2 as they have reclaimed home ice advantage. And Game 5 will be Tuesday night here in Dallas, Texas, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, live on TBS. Let's get into Game 4. Once again, the Dallas Stars win 3-2 to two to reclaim home ice advantage here. Very close game, very good high-paced game, very physical game, as you would expect between these two teams, especially coming off of what happened to Joe Pavelski in game one, where Minnesota basically, I don't want to, let me go ahead and say it. Minnesota took him out. Minnesota put took him out the game and took him out the series. He hasn't played since the second period of game one, which the Stars lost, by the way. When Pavelski went out, before he went out, they were up. And then all of a sudden, he goes out, it kills the energy of the arena, and they, the Stars end up losing in overtime. But it was a very physical game, uh, very close game. These two teams are very similar with each other. They're very close when it comes to different categories. And I mean, if one team, the Stars come in with 47 wins in the season, Minnesota come in with 46 wins. They, these are the type of games and series you expect from these two teams in round one. But let's get into game four, let's break it down. Let's get into the shots. Minnesota had 34 shots, the Stars had 24 shots. The Stars were the more physical team in game four, coming off with 32 hits, Minnesota had 26. Face-offs, they were neck and neck. Minnesota, uh, Dallas had 26 wins, face-off wins. Minnesota had 25 face-off wins. Power play opportunities, Minnesota had four, converting on 25% of the four opportunities they had. The Dallas Stars continue to be dominant in their power play opportunities. They've been doing it all season and it's continuing in the playoffs as they had three opportunities and they converted 67% scoring two goals during those power plays. Pen penalties, pretty low game, pretty clean game. Both teams had four penalties each. Uh, block shots, the Stars had 18, Minnesota had 16. Takeaways, Minnesota had 11, the Stars had two. Giveaways, the Stars had six, Minnesota had 12. Jake Ottinger killed it as we know he can with 32 saves. Tyler Seguin killing it as we know he can with two goals. So, I mean, this is this has been a fun series so far. I personally think Dallas will win game five, go to game six and lose, and then come back in game seven. And I think Dallas will win game seven in overtime. That's how close I think this series is. And I think that's how it's gonna play out. Dallas will win game five, Minnesota wins game six, and then game seven will go down to overtime. And I think the Stars will pull it off at home to move on to the second round. So that's, I'm trying to see if there's any updates on Joe Pavoski right now. I haven't seen anything. I've been on NHL.com all day. I've been on ESPN.com. I haven't seen anything. So he's missed the last three games. Uh, I'm not seeing if he's gonna return. Let me see. We might have we might have an update. Hold on. Let's let's see. We might have an update. This just popped up. Uh, no, it's not an update. It's just a headline grabber reminding us that he got hurt in game one. So, Bruh. yep, a lot of headline grabbers out here now, especially with Twitter taking away check marks. A lot of people are just doing these fake profiles and whatever and they just typing whatever now so you be on the lookout for that especially with the nfl draft coming up pretty soon so no update on joe pavelski if he's coming back um this series or this season so when you're 38 years old and you take a hit like that and you hit your head on the ice it's gonna take you a little longer to come back versus a 20 25 year old guy that takes that hit so that was a dangerous hit to take and he I mean, I call it dirty. NHL said it was clean. I called it dirty, but it is what it is. Series tied 2-2 coming to Dallas Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm so glad that they have a regular time for us in the DFW area. It's hard when you're working and waking up at 5 a.m. every morning to go to work when you have to watch the stars and they don't start to 8.45, 9 o'clock. That's hard. That's hard to try to watch the game, so it's... Yeah, 
thank you TBS and wh- whoever made this schedule for <laughs> for Dallas to get a seven o'clock start here in Dallas, man. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so um, that is my weekly update for the stars. If I get anything on Joe Pavelski, I would update it on the website. This is a website exclusive, dopecontent.com. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, I know you are a true supporter of dopecontent.com. <laughs> As we continue to try to grow the brand here, it's crazy. The DFW Sports came because apparently there are some big names that I had no idea were paying attention to, like, you know, what I'm doing with the website and things like that. So I've had a couple of emails of people saying, hey, man, I like this, I like that. Unexpected emails and saying, maybe you should, you know, add this, add this, because I know this is the type of market you're looking to you know building to we i know you have entertainment i know you have the, the dope sports podcast where you try to cover everybody and then you do wrestling but as far as dfw you live in dfw you should try to do something for them for those fans only so hey if somebody come with advice i'm gonna listen i'm gonna listen so it is what it is i really want this brand to grow so thank you to everybody that's sharing and watching and watching the exclusives if you donate to the paypal on the website to help us get more mics more sh- like real studio time outside of you know my home studio for interviews and things like that uh just just thank you thank you for your support it doesn't go unnoticed i would say this every video that i do as much love to y'all none of it goes unnoticed once again the stars are tied with minnesota two to two Game 5 is Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Dallas, Texas, live on TBS. I think Dallas will win Game 5, lose Game 6, and win in overtime in Game 7. That is my prediction. Thank you for joining. I will continue to try to update the site as I go. It's kind of it's a lot doing this, working with the Arlington Renegades. As you see, I got the Renegades gear on, so I have to actually update that page as well today. Um yeah it's a lot it's a lot and working full-time and being a musician that's traveling and playing so it's a I, it's a lot i'm juggling here but i'm not stopping ladies and gentlemen we're gonna make it we're gonna make it happen by any means necessary we're gonna make it happen so once again thank you so much for your support because your support is what keeps me going if i didn't have your support i would probably quit a long time ago to be honest with you because it is draining it is draining and it's a lot of rough days that a lot of people don't talk about a lot of streamers, podcasters, people that's trying to get into the sports business, radio business, whatever, TV. It's hard when you don't have a like a brand behind your name and you're trying to build your own brand to something. So once again, thank you for your support, man. Much love to y'all. And I hope y'all have a great week. And I am out. Let's go. Hey.